Hi babes, welcome back. Now if you haven't already, then please do press that big red subscribe button, come and join a babehood, we'll be so excited to have you on board. Now, first of all, one big massive Thank you for over 200 subscribers. It means so much to me that I know there's people out there who are there to support me and people are out there who love me for who I am. Thank you ever so much. It means the world to me. But anyway, today's video, we are going to be doing a galaxy look on this side of my face. Now to cut things short, I have quickly done my foundation and my contour and concealed my lips and done my lips, okay? So, with further ado, let's jump straight in to the video. Right, so for this look, we're going to be using the James Childs palette. It's so pigmented, it's unbelievable, and it works miracles. Unreal, I know. So today we're going to basically be quite creative, quite dramatic, but we work with this. It does stain your face a little bit, but it does cover up with foundation quite easily. So. First of all, we're just gonna add some, hello. We're just gonna add this blue here and this blue here, just like so. And we're then just going to apply this in circular motions to my forehead like so. And you're gonna keep on applying that until it's nice and blue. And until it's all faded out quite nicely. Try not to add too much to dark or too much light, but you kind of want it in the middle if that makes sense. Now it is going to look blocky. Now we will fix the blockiness after. So basically you're just making it look a little bit blocky. And then, like I said, we'll fix the blockiness in it after we have done the look. So I'm just applying the blue on now onto the head, just like so. Now, I have been so excited to do this video. It's unbelievable. I know many of you as well have been excited for a video to go up. I'm really sorry. I have taken a break from YouTube. That's why I haven't uploaded so much as I used to because I feel I really badly need to take a break because YouTube is hard work. So I decided to actually take a break and relax. I have recovered. I have taken my break, have relaxed. And I'm back on active and I'm ready to start a whole new chapter. Right, next we are going to add purple. So we're going to take the James Charles purple. We're not, usually you, I would go in with a really dark purple. But because the purple is so pigmented, we're going to go in with the lighter shade of purple first. And then we are then just going to go over some of the blue with the purple just like so, and then in circular motions as well, you're applying that with guys, just like so, and applying it like that. Now there's not really that much purple in the look, so we we'll try not to add too much purple. Then we are then just gonna take a purple blending brush wherever I put it. Hello, I have a blending brush for every single color purple purple that's red that's yellow that's green tell you what we're going to spice it up a bit more and we're going to get a new blender brush okay and we're then just going to blend that purple in nicely and smoothly it will look horrible at the start if that makes sense but it all comes together once you've really blended it out nicely and sorted out the colors to kind of match if that makes sense so you just applied a little bit of purple more, so it kind of like looks dark. Now it looks bizarre, it looks crazy, it looks unrealistic now, but I promise you, it will get better. Okay, so then we are then just going to quite simply, now this is the colour that's more likely to stain a lot more. We are then just going to go into the Gemma Charles palette again, red and pink together, and then we are then just going to simply apply that, but like a block, if that makes sense. So like I said, this is going to look blocky, is going to look crazy, is going to look very, very strange, but we'll work with that. Just like so. Now, it does go in your ears as well. So we are then just going to apply some to the ear as well. 
it is quite hard, I'm not gonna lie, to get off your ear. And it does look so messy, so horrible right now. So, just not good. But, as like I said, it all comes together at the end. Okay, so the pink, try not to add too much pink. Try to add a little bit more red tone to it. So it doesn't kind of stay in your face as much. Because I know some people have quite sensitive skin. I have been practicing and practicing this look over and over again. It's not perfect, but like I just said, practice makes perfect. Okay, so that is just part of the look now. And then we are then going to very, very lightly and very... Hello, we haven't even blended out the pink. What am I doing? So we're then just going to take another blending brush and we are then just going to blend out that pink. Now, pink is quite hard to blend. So if I was you, I'd spend more time on blending the pink and the red together, if that makes sense. Especially blending it into the purple because it don't really kind of disappear that easily. So, kind of just got to work around that, like I am here. So I am blending that in circular motions, very nicely, very, very smoothly as well. And then we're going to jump in to the yellow. So, we're just going to grab the Jenna Charles and jump straight in to the colour yellow. And we're then just going to brush it on, kind of... In a zigzag line, if that makes sense. So, does this make sense? Probably doesn't. But anyway, you guys can kind of see how I'm doing yellow as well. And then all you are going to do is keep on applying that yellow. It won't come out as yellow as you would want it to at the start. But you just got to keep on building that yellow up. And then add the yellow onto the ear and in the ear as well. I know what you guys are probably thinking, oh my god, that's not going to come off. It does, trust me. But it's so pretty and it's an amazing look for like any festivals or gay pride or anything like that. So if you are one of these people who love wild colours and you're looking for a new look for a festival or for a night out, you have a look. If this isn't your cup of tea, that's fine. Just have a look at some more festival looks. Okie dokie. So once you have blended in this yellow very nicely, what you are then going to do is then add the green. So as you can tell, it's already starting to come along, which I absolutely love. But now we've just got to add the green. The green, however, doesn't look as pigment as the blue, the purple and the pink along. And the yellow doesn't look as pigment. But trust me, it's there, they're 100% there, promise. So we're just going to add green to your whole time neck or to the area of your neck. And I'm just kind of adding it in circular motions. It's really hard to like do this and for you guys to see how I'm doing it as well. So, you know, we work with that. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm just like going in circular motions brushing some on, dipping it back into the green, circular motions and then blending that out and then dipping back into the green. So the green does go quite far down, but it's really, really nice if that makes sense. The way this all comes together is really, really friendly and it just, it's gorgeous, absolute gorgeous. You can add your own designs onto this, whatever you like, you can add to it, you can add your initials. You can add stars, you can add dots, which is what I'm going to be doing, I'm just little stars and dots. So you can kind of really get creative, if that makes sense. That's why I kind of like this look. I'm not going to lie. So as you can tell, I've added quite a lot of green to that there. Then what we are going to do... Hello, where did I put the... I am so unorganised. It is unbelievable. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. So, what we are then going to do is grab a blending brush for the green and blend that out very nicely into the yellow as well. In circular motions, don't forget guys, because it kind of really grabs the pigments and really blends them out nicely. 
And as well, this is going to sound very crazy, very mental, and you're probably thinking, what are you doing? Add some green to the ear as well. Obviously, I have an earring in, so that makes it a little bit more harder to get to the ear. But we'll live with that. But because I've got an earring, I am just going to add a tad there. And then we are then just going to blend that out into the yellow as well. Also, do concentrate on blending it into your jawline. If you have popped it on your jaw, you can add this anywhere you really want. You can do it on this side of the face, you can do it on this side of the face, you can do it on whatever side of the face you really want. It does not matter. As long as if you do yourself, that's all that counts really. And then you are then just going to keep on blending that out. I'm re-blending the red and the pink because they're the hardest colours to blend. I'm not going to lie to you. So you kind of really got to work on the pink more and the purple as well. Because they're so pigmented, they're really hard to blend. So I'm kind of going to work on the purple again and blend that out very nicely too. Just like that. Oh my god, this is looking... This is coming together so well. I absolutely love it. So then what we're going to do is to stop it from looking so blocky. We're going to take some foundation and a beauty blender. And we're just going to pop some on to the beauty blender. And then we're going to take a foundation brush and brush that around on the beauty blender a little bit and smudge it. And then we're just going to add more foundation, but kind of cutting in to the colours, if that makes sense. Not so much, but just a tad, if that makes sense again. And all this is absolute doing is actually stopping it from looking so blocky and kind of makes it look like you've just like had it slapped on you, which is what you want. And then you are then just going to do the exact same all the way down to the very green. And you're going to keep on doing that until the colours kind of die down a bit and kind of like you've just had it again painted onto you because that is the look like painted look on now if you're one of those who prefer to do this first then add the foundation go for it you play just play around work how you find out how you want to work with that and then we'll see how that works out and we are then just going to take the yellow and all the other colors and re-blend it in in circular motions near the edges again so it doesn't look like a block if that makes sense it does at the moment but we need to work on the blending a lot I'm not gonna lie so once you have nicely blended this all in just like that and the blue as well so we're just gonna take the blue blending brush and kind of blend the colors that are already on there out a little bit more but I'm concentrating on the edge of the colors if that makes sense Because that's like the most important bit, I'm not going to lie. And then we are then just going to, as you can tell, the foundation has taken a little bit of the purple off. When I say a little, I mean quite a bit. We are then just going to add a tad more purple and blend that out nicely in with it too. And then we are then just going to take the pink blending brush again. And we are just going to blend out in circular motions really, really smoothly and nicely. Now, it's like I said, these are so pigmented, they will, they will take about a day to get it off, properly off your face. However, if you use makeup remover wipes or anything that removes tough makeup, like waterproof makeup, it works. I'm really sorry about any background noise. We have a busy house today, and I did kind of ask them to be quiet, but as you know, people don't listen. So, we'll work with that. Okay, and then what we are going to do is just keep on dabbing that blue. So you kind of don't see all the blue, if that makes sense. Or like the faded blue. And did a exact same with the pink, the yellow, and the purple too. So as you can see, I'm kind of dabbing over the edges of the colour very, very nicely. And I'm kind of just running it along, but smoothly. I'm not dabbing too hard and jab dabbing nicely, but I'm adding a little bit of pressure, if that makes sense, but not too much pressure. 
Okay, so that is that there done. Right, next is adding the little dots and the little stars. Now, many of you have actually come to me and gone, what have you used for that bit? Now I'm about to tell you. I have used white face paint that you can get online. This is stage makeup face paint. So you, it's actually really, really good for looks like this one. Okay, so you can get that online. It's quite cheap, quite affordable, I'm not gonna lie. Probably about five or six pound online, maybe less, depends which one you find. And we are then just going to grab a mirror that kind of zooms in really, not like proper zooms in, but zooms in if that makes sense. And we are then, hello. And then we are just going to very nicely apply the face paint to the face, just like so. Now you have kind of got to build the face paint up, but it's really, really hard, I'm not gonna lie. But the results are so, so worth it in the end. It's unbelievable. So I'm doing a little stars first because it makes it just a tad bit more easier. And I know what you guys are probably thinking. What the fuck? Hello. I know. And then we are then just going to add some little dots around the face as well. Try not to add too many dots, but kind of spread them about evenly, if that makes sense. Because if they're not spreaded about evenly and they're quite close up, it won't give you that galaxy look effect that you're looking for. So I just try to move the dots about, if that makes sense. Now this face paint doesn't look so white on the camera, but in person it is white. I mean, white harder than you can imagine. And we are then just gonna add a star to the neck as well, just like that. If you can see the colours and the face paint, amazing. If you can't, then sorry. Then we are then just going to apply a little star up here too. Kind of went a bit too close to the hairline there. But we'll work that. And it kind of suits, I'm not going to lie. And then we are then just going to add a star here. When I say a star, I mean it's more like two lines, but they look like stars. If that makes sense? Just like that. And then we're then just going to add some more little dots around the area, around the face, basically. If the dots don't show up as well as you want them to, you can just kind of get the tip of it and move it around in circular motions, but they will come out a lot more chunkier, the dots. And you kind of don't want that. You kind of want it looking good, but not too much then we are then just going to add little lines into the ear and onto the ear and then we are then just going to add some lines going like this going like across the colours if that makes sense so it kind of looks like a shooting star is just racing past on your face okay so them dots there are a bit too big but we'll work with them Trying to do the dots a bit so you can see them, but not too obvious, if that makes sense. Right, so now you've done the dots like so. If you think the face paint is too white, or you don't like the face paint, then you can quite easily just get a beauty blender, very gently dab the face paint, or dab over where you've applied them. Don't dab too hard, otherwise it will kind of add foundation or whatever you've got on the beauty blender to the colours and you kind of don't want to do that. I have got the same beauty blender I use for foundation but I'm just dabbing it across very 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 gently and applying it to the neck as well so it's nice and smooth. So as you can tell that's just half of that done. Well not even half it is done. So that is this bit here completed, done dusted so gorgeous i absolutely love it it's amazing for any festivals so while you guys are here what i'm going to do is i'm then just going to very quickly do the highlighting so you guys can see me like glow if that makes sense and um, because highlighting really brings a look together so i'm just going to add some highlighter to my brow bone 
just like so and then add some even even though you've got this on here you can still add a tad of highlighter over it as well to really give it that shiny effect just like so try not to add too much though otherwise it'll kind of like otherwise it can kind of screw the look up if that makes sense Again, just adding highlighter to this side of the face as well. Just like so. There we go. And then we're then just going to take a fan brush. And then we, not that one, that one's no good. We're going to take this beautiful fan brush. And we're then just going to fan and blend in that highlighter just a little bit so it's not so bomb in your face on this side. And as well, when you're fanning this and you're blending in a highlighter, it kind of blends in the red and the pink together nicely as well. As you can tell, there we go. Oh my God, so good. I love this look, completely love it. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. It took me weeks to actually realize how to do it properly. I know it doesn't look like it's been done properly, but let me reassure you, it has. But I'm still learning and I'm still practicing the look and to get it up to standard and up to scratch, if that makes sense. So obviously that is this video completed today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. And as well, don't forget to press the subscribe button. Come and join the Bayhead. We'd love to have you on board. And